I date in New York City a lot. And dating wise, there's a lot that's like asked of a man. Like first dates are like nightmares. <laughs> I, got like, I got a question. Like, yeah. Dude, it's like, I'm like, what do you want? They got like a checkbox, like, are you gonna pick me up? Are you gonna hold are you gonna walk on the outside of the sidewalk? Are you gonna open the door? Are you gonna pull out the seat? Are you gonna pay for the meal? Are you gonna be interesting during the dinner? Are you gonna be funny during the dinner? Just look how sad these men look. Like, <laughs> like they're just panning to everyone's face and everyone looks sad. That's crazy. And then when you walk home, are you gonna drop me off? Are you gonna watch me walk inside? And then are you gonna text me after? And it's like, it's like trying to defuse a bomb. Like if you <laughs> think you like, you're like red wire, blue wire, and you're like one little thing and you're just done. And it's like, I'm, I'm to the point where I'm like, I'm so tired of like paying 150 for a first date. Facts. And then you just ghost me. I'm, and the next Facts. week I'm like hurting for cash. I'm like, I could have really used that 150. Like, why did I have to, when you, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the streets are tough. The streets are different. There's nothing you could do anymore as a guy and especially a guy in New York. You're dealing with all types of things in New York from the traffic, the amount of people, the cost of living, the rats. The biggest one being the rats. And then now on top of that, you have to have struggles in dating. <clears throat> it's getting different out here. You actually have to really understand like, yo, and unpack. Women are giving no chances to the average guy. That's just a fact. Women are giving no chances to the average guy. This guy has no chance. 150 bucks. Yeah, right. These women are expecting you to grab their Uber. Open the door, pay for the dinner. No, we're not splitting any bills. None of that. Nothing is being split. I'm paying for everything now, and I don't even know you. You're a stranger. That's what you got to deal with as a guy, so you really got to think about it. Are you going to win? Do you trust your odds? Because once you start to spend all that money, everyone knows there's expectations that come with all of that. And the only way that sometimes men happen to have a good night is if they make this person comfortable enough, and that only comes through attraction. So if you're not on the more attractive side, sir, and you're getting labeled as average, you're going to have a hard time out here because women are expecting a lot. I don't know that dude. Don't know where, how he found this. Vice found these guys, but I'm sure he is not telling a lie. He said it's like diffusing a bomb. And I've run into that before because it's like, yo, I'll even just test some of this stuff out. I'll just get on the apps. Okay, what's good? See somebody I'm attracted to, and then I tap in. I try to be cordial. I try to be nice. I try not to be on F-boy time, right? That's what women say. Oh, I try to be on a healing journey, whatever that means. Tap in. These women are oblivious, oblivious texting back eight hours later no why would i let you waste my time like that that is crazy it is crazy to me women think i'm gonna start a conversation and you pick it up the next day yo next please move out of the way you are blocking a blessing stop the madness so when women do these little odd precarious things instead of communicating i don't care i ignore like now I'm just like, yo, you don't even deserve a response to this. I'm just going to ignore you. Like it doesn't make any sense. And I'm not tapping like it's so many different things going on that I see in the dating world now. Like because because, yeah, I'm I like got on the apps. I was like, let me see what's going on here. Let me tap in. Bro, women, ladies, I don't want your Instagram. I don't. If I say let's get away from the app. And you're inviting me to another app? Like, how much sense does that, does that make? That makes no sense. Give me your number. Let's tap in. Let's actually have a conversation. Let's be somewhat adults, bro. I'm looking at y'all like kids. That's why I'm not going outside because I don't want to talk to anybody in a childlike fashion. That's just not what I want to do. I don't want to have childlike conversations. It's only so many shows I can talk about in my day. Like, I get it. I'm watching BMF right now. Cool. Snowfall is trash, whatever. I'm not going to watch you people. I heard it was trash as well. Like, they putting out so much garbage in the stratosphere, bro. At least we could do is just bring some elevated conversations to the space. Right? 
And that's why I be inside. But yeah, I'm like getting on these apps. I'm like, bro, I'm not wasting my time with y'all. I'd rather sit on the mic and talk. Why not? Why not? Let's have a conversation. Let's really unpack what is going on because this brother is going through it. This young king is going through it. He said, I'm strapped for cash. I could have used that 150. How many guys can relate to that? How many guys done took a girl out damn well knowing they maybe had like 400 bones left in their account, but they wanted to impress the joint, so they spent about 200 on her on a nice date until their next paycheck hit the account. Like, that's what guys are doing to try and impress women. I'm good. Never, ever. I am so good at this point. I don't have FOMO. There's nothing in the streets for me. Most of these women are L's. You're doing too much. At this point, it's just a ne negative. It's a negative return. It's like putting your money into the stock market, knowing you're about to lose bread, knowing the stock about to crash, right? But I get it. What can you do in these situations? Women have the power. You know, they have the power of the pooms. That's what it is. Because if the average guy is only having sex four to five times a year, the first thing I'm thinking about when I step outside as a man is unfortunately the cheeks. It just is what it is because if somebody's not getting something and they think of it as this grandiose thing, as this upheld sacred thing, they're going to shoot for it. That's what they're directly going for. Nine times out of 10, you have your outliers. You have your guys that are just, you know, they're cordially to have a good time or you have the seasoned veterans if you a seasoned veteran, you're not really caring about the sexual aspects of what women can bring to the table. You're thinking about that mental. And then everything after that is icing on the cake, right? Because if she tapped in, you start speaking to her, oh, she got her, she got her law degree from Gonzaga or from, uh, let's go Georgetown. She got her law de degree from Georgetown. She cool. Family from Miami. You know, she got some, some Caribbean roots. She could cook a little bit. You meet a nice one. Yeah, it's going to be a different type of time mentally. You're going to have to mentally keep up because this is that 1% of women that I like to say, that really small pocket of women that really know what time it is, bossed up, elevated, looking good, smelling good, traveling. Those are the type of women I be trying to talk to. That's the type of women that I like, but nope. Y'all boys taking L's with these scallywags. Like, y'all just are. I can't hold you. Like, I saw the, the, the girl I put in the top of the video, that's an L. I don't care how bad she is. Because right when you start talking to her, you realize you're talking to a peanut. Like, you just are. You're talking to a tree stump. You might as well be talking to two slices of bread. Like, you're not getting anything out of these conversations. So, what can you do here? And I don't mean to be rude. I don't know Shorty from a can of paint. So, I'm not speaking directly to her. I'm speaking to the whole kind of dating culture when it comes to communication, when it comes to actually building, you could tell people don't care. Like I'll just be talking to people. I'm like, yo, please ask me a genuine question. Just please just one. Like a question that I'm asking you is not a genuine question. You just heard me and you're like, oh, this is a great question. Where are you from originally? What's your like? Oh, my God. <laughs> like, this is great. Like, yeah, you can't tell people to go do all these things and you're not working on yourself. That's the thing that be getting me. I be seeing all these women tagging along and cookie cutter in these quotes and you're not following none of these instructions either. You're not following any of these instructions by any means. So how do you feel like and why do you feel like I'm just going to take you, take your advice like, oh, men need to go to therapy. Men need to start to do this. Men need to start to do that. Men need to get me flowers, blah, blah, blah. But don't be following none of the rules. Y'all posting all these quotes. Are y'all actually taking action on these quotes? And it's like, it's just odd to me because I run into it so much. I'm like, bro, you're not on a healing journey. Stop saying that. <laughs> I'm getting annoyed. Like, yeah, it's like cookie cutter. Like who's selling... Who's the person selling these PDF packets? Like, yo, I need their marketing strategy. I need the plan. There has to be a PDF packet that is going out on TikTok that women are just reading through. And it comes with like questions, first date things, what you need, like how to do this. It's like a how to on how to stay single. Like that's it has to be because women have lost it. 
If every guy is saying the same things, something is amiss. And I know it's on the same side as well. So, ladies, if you feel like men are doing corny things, you should maybe call it out. You know, get one of your, your verbal communicators to start a podcast and speak on it. If, if you really want men to elevate, because I think what this dude said in the video is real. If I'm taking you out, if I'm doing all these things and then you can't communicate and actually tell me what I did wrong to get ghosted, leave me alone. I would only assume, right? But no, you want to go on adventures. You want to go skydiving. You want to go to the Caribbean and go on the little raft and get all the mud painted on your body and rub down like you want to do all those things. But then when you get to know me mentally and realize, oh, we not really a match. You can't say that. But you done already tapped in and spent man's bread. So how do we get past these dilemmas? Right. Because I don't think any time. I don't think women are taking anything seriously because I'm seeing too much content in the space now. And it's like, yo, you got so many people and so many women saying so many terrible things about dudes. And trust me, I'm just building ammo right now because I've caught wind of a little bit of these shenanigans going on in the streets and just know these videos going to start to come out because y'all are tripping and I can't speak on it just yet. But if you want to know what it is, drop a comment. Guess what you think it is. I have something very funny coming. <clears throat> But no, we just have to speak on it. And I just wanted to look on this dynamic as well. How many women are judging men off such false pretenses, right? Like this is this is a facade. What is it? A mirage. Listen to me, because I'm the big sister you never had and always needed. OK, when you as a bad bitch let an average guy pull you. The math ain't math in the way that we think it's supposed to. He's not sitting over there saying me a medium ugly five foot seven and a half average baboon with anxiety i pulled this beautiful goddess <sighs> i should probably appreciate her no <laughs> absolutely fucking not you know what's going on in his peanut sized brain he thinks he could pull bad bitches you let him have that for free <sighs> and i know what comes next now you're buying him presents you're making the reservations when y'all go out <sighs> stop it right now stop that you need to treat these men like they were already about to treat you. Dog him out. He doesn't get to have that. Certainly not in 2023, babies. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We are done. Help me out. What do we do in these situations? For real, what do we do in these situations? You have to, come on now. There's nothing I can do in this situation because the same way she's looking at it saying, oh, if you're a seven, eight, nine and up and you talk to an average guy, so... She called out short men with average salary. So I'm just going to stay by her metrics. If you're a shorter guy under 5'9 and you make 50K a year, she was speaking directly to you. But this is crazy to me because, yo, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a, that's a quality gentleman. You just got to get to know him. That's a quality king. But these women are not here for it. And that's why I say you have to compete. You really do have to compete. You have to blame these simps. These simps are going off, right? Because this is what she's saying. And this is what I tell men all the time to stop doing. Stop taking these women out on these grandiose dates. Stop doing all these weird, wild things for strangers. You don't have to buy her Uber. You don't have to spend 500 on a first date. You don't have to fly her out. You do not have to do it because once you do it one time, just one time, now she expects it from every single guy she dates, but she's not quality to every single guy she meets. She was quality to you. That's it. Like women don't realize some men appreciate you more than others. Some men are attracted to you more than others. So they may be, they may go to above and beyond, aka Simplan. They're going to be a symbologist. They're going to do a lot of cuckery in real time. But this is solely that guy. So the next guy up ideally should not have to do this or live up to this goofy hype. But now she's already been there. She's already been to Turks. She expects to go back to Turks. Like you don't get it. And that's what the joint is saying in the video. Telling women. Don't date average guys because once you date an average guy, now he thinks he can pull the baddest of the baddies. Same concept. 
Same concept. So it's like, yo, when I look at it now, and all this information is the information I see readily available going out to the streets. Women telling women to not date average men, get rich guys, do this, do that. It's like a step-by-step process on how to f*** a dude's life up. 